Solid nitrogen is the solid form of the element nitrogen. It is an important component of the surfaces of Pluto and outer moons of the solar system such as Neptune's Triton. Under low or moderate pressure solid nitrogen contains dinitrogen molecules held together by London dispersion forces. Non-molecular forms of solid nitrogen produced by extreme pressures have a higher energy density than any other non-nuclear material. Solid nitrogen was first made in 1884 by first liquefying hydrogen with evaporating liquid nitrogen and then allowing the liquid hydrogen to freeze the nitrogen. Karol Olszewski achieved a world record lowest temperature by evaporating vapor from solid nitrogen getting down to 48 K. Solid nitrogen is normally made in a laboratory by evaporating liquid nitrogen in a vacuum. The solid produced is porous. Bulk properties Solid nitrogen has several properties relevant to its formation of rocks in the outer solar system. Even at the low temperatures of solid nitrogen it is fairly volatile and can sublime to form an atmosphere, or condense back into nitrogen frost. At 58 K the ultimate compressive strength is 0.24 MPa. Strength increases as temperature lowers becoming 0.54 MPa at 40.6 K. Elastic modulus varies from 161 to 225 MPa over the same range. Compared to other materials, solid nitrogen loses cohesion at low pressures and flows in the form of glaciers when amassed. Yet its density is higher than that of water ice, so the forces of buoyancy will naturally transport blocks of water ice towards the surface. This effect has been most clearly observed on Pluto by the New Horizons space probe in 2015, where water ice makes up a major part of the surface layers as icebergs on top of nitrogen ice. Solid nitrogen mixes with solid carbon monoxide and solid methane on the surface of Pluto. The thermal conductivity of solid nitrogen is 0.7 Wm1 K1. Thermal conductivity varies with temperature and the relation is given by K equals 180.2 times T 0.1041 watts per Kelvin. Specific heat is given by 926.91 times E 0.0093 T joules per kilogram per Kelvin. Its appearance at 50 K is transparent, while at 20 K it is white. Nitrogen frost has a density of 0.25 g cm-3. As a bulk material the crystals are pressed together and density is near that of water. It is temperature dependent and given by Rho equals 0.0134 T2 minus 0.6981 T plus 1038.1 kg per cubic meter. The volume coefficient of expansion is given by 2 times 10 minus 6 T2 minus 0.0002 T plus 0.006 K minus 1. The index of refraction at 6328A is 1.25 and hardly varies with temperature. The speed of sound in solid nitrogen is 1,452 meters per second at 20 K and 1,222 meters per second at 44 K. The longitudinal velocity ranges from 1,000 850 meters per second at 5 K to 1,700 meters per second at 35 K. With temperature rise, the nitrogen changes phase and the longitudinal velocity drops rapidly over a small temperature range to below 1,600 meters per second, and then it slowly drops to 1,400 meters per second near the melting point. The transverse velocity is much lower ranging from 900 to 800 meters per second over the same temperature range. The bulk modulus of SN2 is 2.16 gigapascals at 20K and 1.47 gigapascals at 44K at temperatures below 30K solid nitrogen will undergo brittle failure particularly if strain is applied quickly. Above this temperature the failure mode is ductile failure. Dropping 10K makes the solid nitrogen 10 times as stiff. Melting Solid nitrogen melts at a higher temperature with increasing ambient pressure. The slope of the melting point line of the phase diagram is 190 K GPA-1. At 2.8 GPa nitrogen melts at 308 K, at 4 GPa it melts at 368 K, and at 7 GPa it melts at 484 K. The melting point increases all the way to 1920 K at a pressure of 50 GPa. Above this pressure the melting point decreases. This is due to a change in the liquid, which becomes denser than the solid at that pressure. The liquid is predicted to become a polymer. 
The melting point drops to 1400 K at 71 GPa, solid nitrogen is slightly soluble in liquid hydrogen. At 15 K there are somewhere between 1010 and 1011 molecules of nitrogen per cc of liquid hydrogen. At the boiling point of hydrogen the amount in solution is 10-8 molar fraction. At 32.5 K the molar concentration of dissolved N2 in close to critical H2 is 7.0 times 10 minus 6. Sublimation When the pressure is below the triple point, solid nitrogen directly sublimes to gas. The triple point is at 63.14 plus or minus 0.06 K and 0.1255 plus or minus 0.0005 bars. The vapor pressure has been measured from 20 K up to the triple point. For alpha nitrogen below 35 K, the logarithm of the pressure is given by 12.40 minus 807.4 times T minus 1 minus 3926 T minus 2 plus 6.297 times 10 plus 4 T minus 3 minus 4.633 times 10 plus 5 T minus 4 1.325 times 10 plus 6 T minus 5. For beta nitrogen it is given by 8.514 minus 458.4 T minus 1 minus 19870 T minus 2 4.800 times 10 plus 5 T minus 3 minus 4.524 times 10 plus 6 T minus 4. Where the solid is not pure nitrogen, the vapor pressure can be estimated using Raoul's law in which the pressure is reduced by the molar concentration. This calculation is relevant for the atmosphere of outer solar system bodies, where there could be a 1% contamination with carbon monoxide and methane. Crystal structure Beta There are several known solid forms of molecular dinitrogen. At ambient pressures there are two solid forms. Beta N2 is a hexagonal close-packed structure which exists from 35.6 K up to 63.15 K at which point it melts. At 45 K the unit cell has A equals 4.050 A and C equals 6.604 A. At 4125 atmospheres pressure, and 49 K the unit cell sizes have shrunk to A equals 3.861 A C equals 6.265 A. If the pressure is increased the C, A ratio stays the same. In the beta phase, the molecule centers are hexagonal close packed. This means that the C-A ratio is approximately equals 1.633 equals square root 8 thirds. The nitrogen molecules are randomly tipped at an angle of 55 degrees from the C-axis. There is a strong quadrupole-quadrupole interaction between the molecules. Alpha Another phase termed alpha N2 exists below 35.6 K at low pressure and has a cubic structure. The space group is Pa3. At 21 K the unit cell dimension is 5.667 A, under 3785 bars this reduces to 5.433 A, at low temperatures the alpha phase can be compressed to 3500 atmospheres before it changes to gamma, and as the temperature rises above 20 K, this pressure rises to about 4500 atmospheres. The nitrogen molecules are located on the body diagonals of the unit cell cube. Gamma. The tetragonal gamma form exists at low temperatures below 44.5 K between about 0.3 GPa and 3 GPa pressure. The triple point for alpha, beta, gamma 2 is at 0.47 GPa and 44.5 K. The space group of the gamma phase is P42, MNM and its unit cell has lattice constants A equals 3.957 A, C equals 5.109 A at 20 K and 4000 bars. The 15N isotope converts at a pressure 400 atmospheres lower to the gamma form than natural nitrogen. At 20K in the gamma form, nitrogen molecules appear to have the shape of a prolate spheroid, 4.34A in the long dimension, and 3.39A in the short diameter. The boundary of the molecule appears at an electron density of 0.0135A3. The molecules line up in rows end to end diagonally on the AB plane. These rows stack side by side with molecules offset by half their length to form layers in the 001 plane, perpendicular to the C-axis. 
Layers stack on top of each other each rotated by 90 degrees compared to the plane below. Coordinates of atoms in the unit cell are given by x, x, 0, x, x, 0, 1 half plus x, 1 half by, 1 half, 1 half by, 1 half plus x, 1 half with x equals r, a square root 8 and r equals interatomic distance in nitrogen molecule, equals 1.10 a, unit cell dimension is above a equals 3.957 a. The molecules can vibrate up to 10 degrees on the AB plane, and up to 15 degrees in the direction of the C-axis. Delta Delta N2 has a triple point with beta and gamma nitrogen at 2.3 GPa and 150 K. Delta N2 has a cubic structure with space group PM3 m. The lattice constant is 1.164 at 300 K but 4.9 GPa. At room temperature and high pressure delta nitrogen is ordered in its molecular orientation above the pressure of 2 GPa there is the lower temperature rhombohedral phase epsilon N2 and above 80 K cubic delta N2. The triple point of delta N2, beta N2 and liquid is somewhere between 8 and 10 GPa and 555 and 578 K. Epsilon Epsilon N2 is rhombohedral with space group R3C is a high pressure form of dinitrogen, stable at 13 GPa. Cell dimensions are A equals 8.02 A, B equals 8.02 A, C equals 11.104 A, alpha equals beta equals 90 degrees, gamma equals 120 degrees, volume 618.5 A3, Z equals 24. Epsilon nitrogen has disordered orientation, in the phase diagram epsilon N2 appears at pressures above 2 GPa at temperatures below 50 K below this the gamma form is stable. When heated epsilon N2 transforms to delta N2. Zeta Above 69 GPa epsilon N2 transforms to an orthorhombic phase designated by zeta N2 with a 6% reduction in volume. The space group of zeta N2 is P2221. The lattice constants are A equals 4.159 A, B equals 2.765 A, C equals 5.039 A with 8 atoms per unit cell. At 80 GPa the distance between nitrogen atoms in the molecules is 0.982 A, but the closest distance to other nitrogen atoms is 1.93 A. As the pressure increases to 138 GPa the bond in the molecules actually lengthens to 1.002 A while intermolecular distances shorten. Theta a zeta N2 phase compressed to 95 GPa and then heated to over 600 K produces a new structure called theta nitrogen which has a uniform translucent appearance. Iota When epsilon N2 is heated to 750 K at a pressure between 65 and 70 GPa a high temperature phase iota N2 forms. This can also be formed from theta nitrogen by decompression and heating. Mu. When the zeta N2 phase is compressed at room temperature over 150 GPa an amorphous form is produced. This is designated as the mu phase. It is a narrow gap semiconductor. The mu phase has been brought to atmospheric pressure by first cooling it to 100 K. Cubic gauche under pressures higher than 110 GPa and temperatures around 2000 K nitrogen forms a network solid, bound by single covalent bonds in what is called a cubic gauche structure, abbreviated as CGN. This substance is very stiff with a bulk modulus around 298 GPa, similar to diamond. It is very high energy and is metastable when pressure is released. The cubic gauche form has space group I213. The unit cell edge is 3.805 A, there are 8 nitrogen atoms per unit cell. The bond angles are very close to tetrahedral. The structure contains rings of nitrogen atoms that are fused together. The position of the lone pairs of electrons is ranged so that their overlap is minimized. The difference in bond energy varies from 0.83 electron volts per atom in nitrogen gas to 4.94 electron volts per atom, so having a difference in energy of over 4 electron volts per atom. 
This cubic gauche nitrogen is the highest energy non-nuclear material and is being investigated for use in explosives and rocket fuel. Its energy density is 33 kJ g-1 which is over three times the energy density of HMX. CGN has all bonds the same length of 1.346 A at 115 GPa. The cubic gauche structure for nitrogen is predicted to have bond lengths of 1.40 A, bond angles of 114.0 degrees and dihedral angles of minus 106.8 degrees. The term gauche refers to the odd dihedral angles, if it was 0 degrees it would be called cis, and if 180 degrees it would be called trans. The dihedral angle phi is related to the bond angle theta by sec phi. sec theta minus 1. The coordinate of one atom in the unit cell at x, x, x also determines the bond angle by cos theta. x by minus 1 quarter, x 2 plus, by minus 1 quarter 2. Poly n. Another network solid nitrogen called poly n and abbreviated pn was predicted in 2006. Pn has space group C2, C and cell dimensions A equals 5. 49A, beta equals 87.68 degrees. Other higher pressure polymeric forms are predicted in theory, and a metallic form is expected if the pressure is high enough. Layered polymeric The LPN phase is an actually produced, layered polymeric phase stable between 120 and 180 GPa. It has a density of 4.85 g cm-3 at the low pressure end of its range. The structure contains layers of fused rings of seven nitrogen atoms. Others Yet other phases of solid dinitrogen are termed zeta N2 and kappa N2. Related substances under pressure nitrogen can form crystalline van der Waals compounds with other molecules. It can form an orthorhombic phase with methane above 5 GPa. With helium He N2 11 is formed. N2 crystallizes with water in nitrogen clathrate and in a mixture with oxygen O2 and water in air clathrate. Helium Solid nitrogen can dissolve 2 mole percent He under pressure in its disordered phases such as the gamma phase, under higher pressure 9 moles percent helium, he can react with epsilon nitrogen to form a hexagonal birefringent crystalline van der Waals compound. The unit cell contains 22 nitrogen atoms and 2 helium atoms. It has a volume of 580A3 for a pressure of 11 GPa decreasing to 515A3 at 14 GPa. It resembles the epsilon phase. At 14.5 GPa and 295 K the unit cell has space group P63 per meter and A equals 7.936 AC equals 9.360 A. At 28 GPa a transition happens in which the orientation of N2 molecules becomes more ordered. When the pressure on He 11 exceeds 135 GPa the substance changes from clear to black, and takes on an amorphous form similar to eta N2. Methane Solid nitrogen can crystallize with some solid methane included. At 55 K the molar percentage can range up to 16.35% CH4, and at 40 K only 5%. In the complementary situation, solid methane can include some nitrogen in its crystals, up to 17.31% nitrogen. As the temperature drops, less methane can dissolve in solid nitrogen, and in alpha N2 there is a major drop in methane solubility. These mixtures are prevalent in outer solar system objects such as Pluto that have both nitrogen and methane on their surfaces. At room temperature there is a clathrate of methane and nitrogen in 1 to 1 ratio formed at pressures over 5.6 GPa. Carbon monoxide The carbon monoxide molecule CO is very similar to dinitrogen in size, and it can mix in all proportions with solid nitrogen without changing crystal structure. Carbon monoxide is also found on the surfaces of Pluto and Triton at levels below 1%. Variations in the infrared line width of carbon monoxide absorption can reveal the concentration. 
noble gases. Neon or xenon atoms can also be included in solid nitrogen in the beta and delta phases. Inclusion of neon pushes the beta minus delta phase boundary to higher pressures. Argon is also very miscible in solid nitrogen. For compositions of argon and nitrogen with 60% to 70% nitrogen, the hexagonal form remains stable to 0 Ka van der Waals compound of xenon and nitrogen exists above 5.3 GPa. A van der Waals compounds of neon and nitrogen was shown using Raman spectroscopy. The compound has formula N2 6 Na7. It has a hexagonal structure, with a equals 14.400 C equals 8.0940 at a pressure of 8 GPa. A van der Waals compound with argon is not known. Hydrogen With didutyrium, a clathrate N2 12D2 exits around 70 GPa. Oxygen Solid nitrogen can take up to a one-fifth substitution by oxygen O2 and still keep the same crystal structure. Delta N2 can be substituted by up to 95% O2 and retain the same structure. Solid O2 can only have a solid solution of 5% or less of N2. Radiation treatment when solid nitrogen is irradiated by high-speed protons or electrons, several reactive radicals are formed, including atomic nitrogen N, nitrogen cations N+, dinitrogen cation N2+, trinitrogen radicals N3 and N3+, and azide N3-. Use Solid nitrogen is used in a slush mixture with liquid nitrogen in order to cool faster than with liquid nitrogen alone, useful for applications such as sperm cryopreservation. The semi solid mixture can also be called slush nitrogen or SN2. Solid nitrogen is used as a matrix on which to store and study reactive chemical species, such as free radicals or isolated atoms. One use is to study dinitrogen complexes of metals in isolation from other molecules. Natural occurrence Solid nitrogen forms a large part of the surface of Pluto and the Neptunian moon Triton. On Pluto it was directly observed for the first time in July 2015 by the New Horizons space probe and on Triton it was directly observed by the Voyager 2 space probe in August 1989. On Triton, solid nitrogen takes the form of frost crystals and a transparent sheet layer of annealed nitrogen ice, often referred to as a glaze. Geysers of nitrogen gas were observed by Voyager 2 to spew from the subpolar regions around Triton's southern polar ice cap. A possible explanation of this observed phenomenon is that the sun shines through the transparent layer of nitrogen ice, heating the layers beneath. Nitrogen sublimes and eventually erupts through holes in the upper layer, carrying dust along with it and creating dark streaks. References External links Freezing liquid nitrogen creates something amazing, videos of nitrogen boiling, freezing, and spontaneously changing crystal form.